So today's lesson, we're focusing on how to not only use the question to shape our answer to an unfamiliar text question, but also how to let the techniques drive the analysis. So the first thing we do, which is a problem that our class had yesterday, was that we didn't use the words from the question to shape our answer. So we're going to start off with that. The writer characterizes Bulgaria as a dark and scary place that is unsafe in childhood. The purpose of this text is to explain the difference between life in Bulgaria, a communist country, and life in New Zealand, a democracy. In the first paragraph, the writer explains that children in Bulgaria would not know whether to see a dead body or a pile of leaves in the bush. This dead body symbolizes what Bulgaria was like for her childhood. The reader can't help but imagine that a country with dead bodies in the leaves is a country that is unsafe, dangerous, a country that <coughs> is not a happy place to grow as a child. The reader, considering this symbol, cannot help but envision their own childhood in New Zealand, a much more safe place where the worst thing that would be in the bushes is a big weta. Okay? So what this, this answer does is, A, it starts off with the words from the question. But finally, rather than just saying the ideas and the ideas and the ideas, it drives with the symbol of the quotation and uses as many phrases to discuss reader's response. This reader's response lets the technique drive the analysis rather than the idea. So, as long as you're using these sentences and these phrases, like the reader can't help, the reader can imagine, the reader considers, the reader sees their own. These phrases focusing on the reader's response make sure that the technique is what is driving your analysis rather than the idea. And that is what you need to do to do well on unfamiliar texts. Thank you.